from a completely new Superman film to a long list of TV shows, including animated ones, Gunn has a long list of things planned for the new DCU. In fact, he's already teasing his plans for the DC Cinematic Universe, so I suggest you hold on to your capes, DC fans, because the man behind the wildly successful Guardians of the Galaxy franchise has set his sights on DC. James Gunn is ready to take on the challenge of charting a cohesive course for the likes of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and more. He's expressed his initial concern about making everything connect across film and TV. And yes, that includes animation too. This would ultimately mean fans can finally expect to see a more connected world for their beloved heroes, and a more confusing or disjointed storylines. Can it really be? Well, as a fan, I can only hope so. A carefully crafted universe would make sense and keep fans on the edge of their seats. His recent updates have definitely gotten many excited, but there's still a lot of doubt and speculation around the whole thing. And of course, it makes sense considering this is still the very early stages of the DCU. All I know is that fans can be sure that the DC Universe is in good hands with Gunn at the helm. Chris Pratt called it a masterpiece from what he's seen. How do you uh -huh. react to that, that oh, word? Oh, Chris, he's all full of big <laughs> words all the time. After all, if his work on the Marvel Cinematic Universe is any indication, we know that he's a master of creating well-crafted and interconnected storylines. Some of his changes seem like they're going to be pretty massive, like how he's deciding which movies are and aren't connected. Although there are claims that Man of Steel was always meant to kick off the DCEU, fans wouldn't have guessed it from watching the movie. The film only contained a few Easter egg references to other DC properties, which sadly provides no clear indication that it was the start of a shared universe. As the DCEU continued, it started to feel as though it was being retrofitted to fit into the established grim tone. This eventually led to a movie in which Batman was seen mowing down criminals with machine guns. And to no one's surprise, this caused controversy among fans and critics alike. To avoid this issue, it makes perfect sense for James Gunn to decide in advance which DC movies will be connected to one another. This would allow directors like Todd Phillips to continue making unconnected Joker movies without having to to force other movies to conform to their tone. Another important thing is to let the directors do their thing. And it works within one story. And if something is outside of that, like Matt Reeves' Batman or Todd Phillips' Joker or... By giving them more creative freedom, while meddling by studios and interference with superhero movies is not a unique problem faced only by the DC Universe, sadly, it did drastically affect some of the earlier DCEU movies. One example is the movie Suicide Squad, directed by David Ayer, which had its original tone changed completely by a trailer house during the final edit, and fans of the comics weren't all that happy about it. On the other hand, James Gunn had more freedom to express his creativity when he directed The Suicide Squad. I think we all agree that this resulted in a better and more coherent film. As a director himself, Gunn hopefully tries to act as a mediator between Warner Brothers Discovery and other DC movie directors. He needs to ensure that poor executive decisions don't ruin their movies. Plus, there's another important point to note. He's also giving some lesser-known heroes the limelight. DC Comics has a wealth of amazing superheroes and supervillains, but many movie-going audiences might not know about them. I just wanted to do the ultimate all-time comic book movie, um, create the Suicide Squad based on one of my favorite comic books of all time by John Ostrander. About While Batman and Superman have been in many successful movies, it's time for DC to highlight some new faces. Everyone knows how big the Suicide Squad got, and seeing new DC characters that no one even heard of was part of the charm of that film. DC's new slate of shows and movies indicate that Gunn is considering focusing on lesser-known heroes, too. DC has a rich library of characters to choose from, and it might be worth taking a risk on some of the more obscure ones. This would definitely inject a fresh breath of air into the franchise. After all, Iron Man was never considered one of Marvel's A-list heroes, but after his successful film, he became one of the most popular characters in MCU. Speaking of the MCU, if you ask me, it's time to stop chasing after it. The Marvel Cinematic Universe grew into a massive media empire, and the DCEU could have learned from their success. However, DC was more focused on competing with Marvel instead of creating a unique cinematic universe. This resulted in a hasty assembly of characters 
characters in the film Justice League, which featured a group of unestablished characters. As the new leader of the DCU, James Gunn is tasked with giving the franchise a clear and distinct identity. Whether he takes inspiration from Marvel or not, it's crucial for DC to focus on building their own path, rather than trying to follow in someone else's footsteps. And what better way to focus on itself than to embrace its comic book weirdness? As the new leader of the DC Cinematic Universe, James Gunn is being praised for his unique approach to comic book adaptations. Unlike some past adaptations, Gunn's movies embrace the more quirky and peculiar elements of the source material, instead of shying away from them. This has allowed Gunn to create films that get audiences to truly care about even the most unconventional of characters, like a talking raccoon or a living tree. So I think I just wanted to create a diversity of characters and, uh, and have people be able to see all the different crazy facets of comic books. On the flip side, some Marvel films have been criticized for their tendency to make fun of the superhero genre. By following James Gunn's approach of making serious, heartfelt movies set in a fantastical world, the DC Universe could differentiate itself from Marvel and win over audiences in a new and exciting way. I can definitely see how it may lead to films that are more entertaining to watch. But entertainment isn't the only thing, because the content needs to be understandable too. The DC diehards are probably familiar with the films that are connected to the DCEU and those that are standalone flicks, like The Joker and The Batman. But for the average moviegoer, it might be difficult to keep track of which movies are part of the shared universe and which aren't. And so, it's great that James Gunn and company came up with a clear and simple way for audiences to identify which DC movies will be linked. The ones that aren't part of the main DCU storyline are called Elseworlds stories. This is a simple but effective way to keep the films from being made without the added confusion. Fusion. Plus, it can't really be DC without some amount of darkness. And so, I think it's important for DC to embrace a much darker tone. The DC Cinematic Universe has taken a bold approach to tackle serious and thought-provoking topics, and James Gunn has been leading the charge. From exploring the consequences of US imperialism in The Suicide Squad, to delving into the impact of parental beliefs on children in Peacemaker, Gunn's DC projects are taking on tons of complex subjects. Production designer and the producers, if those people People really love it. It means more to you than anything, or at least to me, you know? That's absolutely true. On the flip side, Marvel has shied away from such subjects, with the exception of the socially conscious Black Panther films. By striking a balance between serious and lighthearted movies, DC can attract a wider and more diverse audience who appreciate thought-provoking cinema. And finally, let's just get this out of the way, James has shut down any rumors of there being a merger with Marvel. As the mastermind behind hit films in both DC and Marvel universes, James Gunn has been at the center of some juicy gossip about a potential crime crossover between the two comic book giants. But if he wants to steer the DCU in the right direction and create a strong, unique identity, it's best for him to avoid hopping aboard the Marvel bandwagon for now. But by joining forces with Marvel, DC would risk giving up the chance to establish a solid, recognizable identity for their own universe. Anyway, that's how James Gunn is planning on building a better DC universe. See you in the next one.